Well, the, 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 the situation is you've got families, your, your viewers, up and down the country that are really struggling to make ends meet because of this cost of living crisis. We've got inflation at a near 40-year high. We've got personal taxes after the budget went up, of course, with um, Jeremy Hunt's stealth taxes at a 70-year high. And now, this month, we're getting yet another tax hike from this Conservative government with uh, council tax bills landing on people's doorsteps this week and the week after with an average five point one hike again. Now you're asking me why is that the government's fault? Because the national government has cut funding to councils up and down the country at a time when they are having to give more support to communities to pay for the public services that they rely on. So the government is effectively passing on the, uh, the, 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 the result of their funding cuts to councils to taxpayers who are seeing their bills go up as a result. But there's another way. There is something different that this government could, go, could do if they took a different choice. They could levy a genuine uh, windfall tax on the oil and gas companies that would raise enough money to freeze people's council tax bills at a time when they need it the most. That is the choice that a Labour government would be making if we were in power today, to give people help when they need it the most. Mr Reid, you will know and remember, I'm sure, that when the last Labour government left, the Chancellor left a note on the desk of number 11 Downing Street saying there is no money, which does suggest that perhaps you are no better at managing the economy than the current government is. So why should we trust you another time round? Well, I, I just told you... I just told you exactly where the money would come from. No, so you told if me we where one lot of the money imposed... is going to come from, not where all of it is going to come from. <laughs> Well, said, you to be fair, that, uh, uh, not all uh, of it. a windfall tax, to be fair, no, to be fair, a windfall tax on the oil and gas companies would raise £10.3 billion. Uh, a windfall tax on their surplus profits, and they're making billions of pounds of profits above and beyond the profit they expected to make. We had the chairman of Shell telling us they had so much money they didn't know what to do with it. Uh, £10.3 billion could be raised that way, but the council tax freeze, by giving councils the money they need to freeze, freeze the bills this year would cost 2.7 billion. So you can see it is very affordable if the government took the decision, if made the choice to help people. What the government actually did in their recent budget was they increased stealth taxes by changing the income tax thresholds, making people pay more income tax, apart from if you're in the top 1% of the most, or most wealthy people, where they gave you a £1 billion tax giveaway. Their choice was to help the 1% of the richest people in our country. Labour's choice would be to help everybody else. There is a question here. I mean, look, there will be people at home saying, well, I thought you were going to use a windfall tax to reduce energy bills. And I mean, there are questions around all of that, right? Um, however, there is an argu a, a bigger argument on growth with all of this. Um, we, it, it's necessary for our economy to grow if we're going to get things back to normal. Now, it might be unpopular to, to reduce some of the taxes that richer people have to pay, whether it's stealth taxes or otherwise. However, that helps, that helps our economy grow, doesn't it? The people who will then invest in the UK, employ more people in the UK and, and so forth. If, if, if that kind of approach helped the economy to grow, then we would have seen far more growth over the last 13 years of Conservative government than we've actually seen. If you take, you know, the Labour was in power for 13 years, now we've had the Conservatives in power for 13 years. Under Labour, on average, the economy grew 50% more every single year because Labour was taking a different approach to growth by investing in the economy rather than, rather than withdrawing investment. And you don't just have to take my word for this. If you listen to one of the great captains of British industry, the chairman of Tesco's. He said there's only one player on the pitch when it comes to economic growth today and that is the Labour Party. We have a plan, a green prosperity plan, to, in, to invest in the new technologies of the future and that creates jobs up and down the country for people. If we were investing in, for instance, you know, wind, wave, solar, nuclear, so that we can generate more of our own energy here in the UK rather than depending on volatile supplies uh, with escalating prices uh, from, from abroad, then we would have a more secure economy with much cheaper energy. That in the long term would cut energy bills as well.